here with Dennis Wagner of Wagner. Dennis, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself and the business? Uh, Wagner's is a company that uh, you know can make things happen, can build things quickly uh, and efficiently. So, uh, whilst our core business is construction materials or heavy construction materials, um, you know we can also we do have some civil capability. Uh, we grow in cement. We are the only cement producer in Queensland, uh, and we're a very very innovative company. We uh, you know have developed. Uh, things like earth-friendly concrete, which is concrete with no cement, uh, and composite fibre technologies products. So we uh, build cross-arms in, in Toowoomba, cross-arms for power poles and export them into Asia. We build road bridges in Toowoomba, Queensland and mm. install them in North America. Mm. Yeah. Say the obvious question, what's your role with the business? I'm a, one of the owners and directors of Wagons. Mm -hmm. okay. um, we're keen to hear about your experience with Aaron and uh, your thoughts about the company. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, what you've uh, known Aaron for and how you've used the equipment in the past? Yes, uh, we've had uh, Aaron equipment for almost 20 years now uh, and predominantly pug mills. Um, and uh, the purpose uh, we've put this gear to is really for, for mixing gravel, for incorporating moisture and cement in a road based type material. We have done uh, two large roller compacted concrete projects where we've used Aaron uh, continuous mixes to produce the concrete. So why did you pick the Aaron continuous plant over anything else that you could have used? I, I, I think it's uh, really a local company or you know we can say Queensland based company. Uh, you know the equipment is a, a very high standard and uh, uh, we've got access to the people that actually own the company. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So why would you use a continuous Aaron plant over a batch plant for an RCC project for example? Well, in, in this case, uh, the delivery method of the con concrete onto the dam wall was for a large roll of con uh, compacted concrete dam wall. The delivery method was by conveyor and uh, our production could be significantly increased with a continuous batcher as a, uh, as a continuous mixer mm -hmm. as opposed to a batch style plant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, tell us a little bit about the project that you've just been working on lately. Well, we've just uh, finished the construction of the Brisbane West Wellcamp Airport, which is uh, an airfield on the western side of Toowoomba. Uh, it's a Code E airfield, so I can take aircraft up to Jumbo 747s in size. Uh, the runway is um, uh, just under three kilometres long, 45 metres wide, and uh, all the pavement material for that project was uh, mixed through an Iran continuous mixer. Mm -hmm. We're talking about all the base material on this one? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, we were talking a little bit earlier on about a lot of airports around the world, including Brisbane Airport um, and also some of Sydney use the, the Aaron plant for mixing all of the base as well. So when, when you think about the Aaron Pug Mill, would you say that it's been a, six, uh, a key to the success of the airport project or other ones you've been using them on? Oh, certainly the machinery uh, has performed very well on all the projects that we've used them on. Uh, and we have used these uh, these plants internationally as well uh, as in Australia. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we've been talking a little bit, Dennis, about uh, using Aaron because they're local to you here in Queensland, Australia. How about for those uh, in North America or Europe? Well, I, I think what you will find with the Aaron equipment is it's built to a very high standard and uh, uh, is compliant with not only the Australian standards but other standards that we have operated in around the world. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, it's certainly uh, you know, well manufactured, the systems on it are quite good and quite sound and uh, very accessible uh, in the, you know, w when we needed some advice and, and operating instruction with the equipment. So. Mm -hmm. uh, Dennis, uh, a couple of years ago we worked together on a roller compacted concrete dam seminar here in Australia where we had international experts fly in around the world to be a part of that and also to, to speak at it. You are one of those speakers. Tell us a little bit about your involvement in that and uh, your perspective of how Aaron was involved in bringing that RCC community together. Well, it was, it was an excellent conference. Uh, there was a lot of uh, people that had some involvement uh, in roller, com contra roller compacted concrete dams from around the world. So it was mm. good to get all that knowledge into one room mm. and share our experiences. Mm -hmm. We really appreciated your input there. Dennis, you've recently uh, purchased a couple of power curber machines as Aaron is the representative for power curbers in Australia. Tell us a little bit about why you decided to grab the power curber machines. 
while we uh, we have uh, many kilometres of road and curb and channel to do around the World Camp Business Park, which is uh, adjacent to the World Camp Airport, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the power curbers we feel offer us, uh, you know, the right right productivity and the right quality for the job. Mm -hmm. So, usually crushing and a little bit of concrete construction, why move into curbing and uh, concrete slip forming? Well, the the, the reason we've we've done it on this project is uh, for productivity reasons. We can work around the clock, we can control the outcome mm -hmm. uh, and we were sort of fairly pleased or quite happy to, to run with the power curb of machines because uh, of the quality of the output they have. Mm -hmm. So Dennis, yeah. sometimes people say that Aaron's expensive, I know sometimes you say that. What's your perspective on that? Well it is expensive but um, I think at times there is some value in quality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you definitely see quality in the Aaron product? Well, what we see is value for money in mm -hmm. Aaron products. Yeah, yeah. So Dennis, if somebody was to ask you about an Aaron piece of equipment or Aaron technology, what would you say to them? Well, I would say they're good people to do business with and have good equipment mm -hmm. and support it well. Mm -hmm. Thank you Thanks very much, so. Dennis. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Right.